every community is defined by its leaders, and here at the El Segundo Museum of Art, their new exhibition is currently highlighting indigenous women leaders in a new experience called Matriarchs. To complement this new experience, the museum is hosting its second annual video art and film festival centered around the theme of Matriarchs. Art and Film Festival, this was the second year that uh, we organized it. It all started last year, we had an experience with Cuban art, video art, so it was so natural to actually organize an event that was involving videos and video arts. So we, um, we started this tradition, we started the first uh, film festival. Uh, we thought that it was going to be a local based or amateur style of festival with submission by local people, but actually it, uh, we, we received submissions from all over the world. So then we decided to, to make it a tradition and uh, to do it every year. So this year, the uh, experience that it's ongoing uh, at the small, it's matriarchs, and so the theme for this festival was matriarchs. We received 237 uh, shorts from 49 different countries around the world, and for me it was truly an honor to, to uh, curate and be able to see all these creative works that uh, fantastic filmmakers have done. The 2018 edition of the Video Art and Film Festival showcased a collection of three dozen traditional and experimental short films with the top prize-winning film selected by a jury of local artists, public administrators, and one local El Segundo TV reporter. For all of us in the jury, we all had different definitions of what matriarchs meant to us, what, how we defined it was unique, and so to watch all of these films together and to argue and debate over which film merited this award was pretty incredible, inspiring, frustrating, but we finally were able to make a selection. And so I am happy to announce that the jury film that we all selected that for this prize is Indian Lotus by Mansour Mir Shekhari from the Islamic Republic of Iran. We all agreed that it represented or showcased the theme um, most strongly. And to us, we had, in our debates, defined matriarch as somebody who is not just a female leader, but also someone who is willing to sacrifice for the greater good of the community. And we felt that this film showcased that element of sacrifice, of giving oneself up for the local community and for the next generation, so we're very happy for that selection. Along with the jury favorite, El Segundo residents also voted for their favorite films in the categories of animation, short film, and video art. This international roster of films was extremely popular with audience members, who left the festival with new perspectives and glimpses of life in other countries. I think everywhere it is nice to have such a festival because as we see here, we have participants from 48, 49 countries all around the globe. And this is very diverse uh, thing. And uh, you can see very different point of view from different people all around the globe. And it's at least in reach your point of view. So for me, this is the important thing for not only for El Secundo, everywhere around the globe. It is important people to know how other people think and if you know how people who live on the other end of the world think, it makes 
them closer to you, you understand them better. It's more thanks to this festival is known around the world. What it was really nice to notice is that uh, filmmakers um, that submitted last year then resubmitted uh, with another with, a, with their new work. So uh, it's putting is more and El Segundo on an international map. Well, that concludes one more exciting event here at the El Segundo Museum of Art. I'm certainly happy to have participated in this festival, and I hope to do so again in the future. And I hope you can join us as well. From El Segundo TV, I'm Natasia Gascon.